and uh, as was my custom, I always asked him how I was getting along, so to speak, and for suggestion, he said, you are doing all right, but watch your health next summer. And that was all that I could extract from him. As time went on, I forgot his warnings, uh, being taken up with a busy practice. But when summer came, I soon remembered, because I was taken with a very depressing, serious condition of the body, which caused me great pain and made the practice of my profession very difficult. Somehow I kept going, but this one particular day, when it reached its height, I was at my summer place in uh, Duxbury, the same place which you heard the story of the storm. And this particular Wednesday, I remember I was suffering quite severely. So much so that we had a most beautiful dog at that time. I remember distinctly how the dog climbed up on the sofa beside me and lapped my head and seemed to be trying to comfort me as best she could. Somehow I got through the afternoon and went upstairs to bed. In the middle of the night, or early morning, there was a, quite a commotion out in the driveway. And I heard someone calling, Doctor, Doctor, Dr. Lewis, Doctor. Well, in due time, we went downstairs and found that the master had come up from New York. He had uh, somehow been able to procure a good automobile and a driver, and he had one or two people with him, and he had come up all the way from New York and arrived just in my greatest need in that early hour of the morning. I remember that after greetings he came inside and I remember how anxiously I awaited the time when I could tell him just how miserably I was feeling. But he didn't say, seem to pay much attention until finally he did take me aside and we went upstairs and talked about my condition. I told him how really badly I was feeling. He didn't say much. He said, smiled a little bit. He said, you'll be all right. He said, you just do what I tell you, and uh, God will take care of you. And I remember he gave me a very peculiar, drastic remedy. It is not possible to tell it at this time, but I will say that if I ever find any devotee who needs it, I will, without any hesitation, give it to him. And so I started in with the remedy, and my improvement took place uh, right off, and I steadily improved, until finally that malady left me and has never returned. I remember when the master wrote me from New York again, and discussing it, he said the condition was really serious, and of course it needed a very drastic, uh, serious remedy, and a unique remedy to take care of the situation. And once more, the story shows that uh, to the humble devotee who is really 100% in tune with the Master, the Master never forgets him. For God has ordained that the Guru will stay.
stay with the humble devotee until finally he takes him back home. 